Hello everyone and welcome back to Willow's Notes. Today we have another osmosis question, but this one is a bit different. We have two types of cells, a paramecium and an animal cell. And the question asks us to see the effect of having a specific type of a solution on these cells. So pause the video, read the question, and then hit play so that we go over the question together. Let's read the question. The salt concentration inside both cells is 1.8%. Both cells are placed in a medium with salt concentration of 0.4%. So we are placing both cells in a medium of 0.4% salt concentration. What will be the likely response of the cells? The first thing we need to figure out is what type of a solution is this 0.4% with respect to the cells? Is it hypotonic, is it hypertonic, or isotonic? 0.4% is clearly much less than 1.8%. This means there are much less solutes in the medium, so if these dots represent the solutes, there's much less of them in the medium compared to inside the cells. This means that the cells are placed in hypotonic solution. The water molecules will move from an area of low solute to high solute. Now, if you need further explanation as to why, I will link my previous video in the description box. So from low solute to high solute means that the water molecules will move into both cells. Now that we established the net direction of water movement, we need to check the type of cells that we have. Let's start with an animal cell. Animal cells are not equipped with an organelle that can store and get rid of excess water. So all the water that will go in will fill up the cell and eventually the cell will swell and burst, what we call lysis. While the paramecium has contractile vacuoles that are specialized in regulating the quantity of water inside the cell. So as water molecules move in, the contractile vacuole fills up with water that it later pumps out of the cell to protect the cell. And therefore, it is clear by now that option C is the correct answer. The animal cell will gain water from the medium and the contractile vacuole of the paramecium will pump out excess water. I hope you found this video easy. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye!